From Viking halls to the cities of the future, Terrain Buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastsofwar.com. Hi everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm of course joined by Chez, and today we're having a look at some more stuff with the Gates of Antares. So Chez, what are you showing me today? Absolutely, well we're going to look at one of the uh, the more powerful pieces that's mm -hmm. available for Antares right now. Um, we're going to go for the C3M4 combat drone. So that is this big lovely flyer it's you'll see down at the bottom of the screen beast. here. Beautiful. It looks like a flying tank. Is it a flying tank? Do it is, a flying it tank? is absolutely a flying tank. Um, awesome. It's unmanned, it's a, a drone obviously we've seen uh, across all the reviews and uh, what well, we've been talking about the fact that drones play such a huge part in the Antarian world. Mm -hmm. Flying around, helping, you've got uh, one actually creating a screen, you've got mm -hmm. the battle drone there that creates a force field that stops shots coming ah, through. Ah right, so that, that's what this blue that's thing is. That's that blue thing out there, so that, that okay. represents uh, you know, just the, the emissions from this drone that, that disrupts so laser beams. To the front. Okay, cool. Mobile terrain basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it okay. helps a lot. So, um, yeah, I think we're, we're part of the way through a turn. Mm -hmm. um, your drone is something that hasn't actually activated yet. Yeah, so, I've, uh, I've been saving it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll finish the turn up, show the guys how, how it works. So, the next dice out is, hey. in fact, your one. Awesome. So, uh, now, you uh, haven't right. got a shot right now, so you're mm. going to need to move it. All so. right, so that's going to be an advanced order. We are still using order dice, which is fine. Indeed. So, uh, from here, how far do I get to move? It's a five inch, um, same as the infantry. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way just for now. And being a skimmer, it can skim over things. It's got some other other rules you don't mm -hmm. need to worry about. But yeah, slide it forward five. Yeah, so it'll end nice. up say roughly here. Yeah, that is great. Which is which is fine. So I assume then my little drones come up with. Yeah, they follow it around and they can be positioned anywhere within a couple of inches of the, uh, right. the vehicle. Well, I'll, uh, buzzing I'll put them both there, and I assume I can put my my field down again. So where yep. would it go? Uh, so that can go. You can place that anywhere within a few inches of the actual battle drone itself, facing okay. in any direction. Obviously, you uh, know that's going to. I'll put forward. it about there because yeah. it, it gives me a nice arc of front cover. I yeah, think definitely. against your your nasty nasty gar. And if you had uh, infantry that you were uh, supporting at the same time, you can put it you know up to five inches away as long as it's all in Ooh, there. Lovely. You can protect the infantry as well. But at the moment, you, your vehicle's the one. Yeah, yeah. I I, I don't want to get hit by any of the nasty gar weaponry. Absolutely. So right in front of you now. Obviously, mm. you've got the uh, the transport is blocking the line of sight across to this squad. Yeah, um, you've probably got the the squad out in the open right in front of you. You've yeah. got a plasma light support, okay, and a plasma cannon in the turret. Now, because okay. you advance, they both have to shoot at the same target. Okay, so uh, you might as well roll all the dice. At the same all right, target. so I, I'll assume plasma cannon. I'm going to get one dice. Yep, absolutely. What about the other one? The plasma light supports three dice. Okay, so uh, it's a slightly less powerful, but a, a higher rate of fire, far uh, higher rate of fire. I think I can still do some damage. Yeah, that. Uh, what am I looking so for here? Accuracy is six, so six or less. Uh, oh wow! So I got one, two. two. Four and, and nine. nine. So three hits. Now uh -huh. you have a spotter drone. Your other one. So this little guy. Yeah, that that guy allows you basically the the, the matrix goes in, gives you a reroll. Yeah, awesome. Uh, there we go. Six. Six. Has so everything hits into this squad. Into the squad. So the first thing I do, mm -hmm. as always, I take a pin for for being hit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now you get to allocate where the number one goes. All right. Uh, Any time you roll a one to hit, you mm -hmm. get the, the shooter gets to choose what it is. If I had my own drones or something special, you could allocate it to that and destroy them. Yes, yeah. great. If I've got a leader, sometimes that's good to do it. In yeah. this case, I've got three guys all the same. Okay. One of the guy at the back is a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to target him, I'll target him. But I'm assuming then, if I had hit this squad, yep. I could pick out this guy. Target the weapon. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll so, target your leader with the, that so one. You physically put the dice onto him. Okay. And then the other three hits, because obviously the blue one is the big heavy one. I get to mm -hmm. choose where it goes. I'm actually going to put the, the blue one onto this guy. On a grunt. I can put one onto there. Now, uh -huh. because. Everybody's taken a hit. I get to decide, ran well, not randomly. I get to decide exactly where this yeah. one goes, um, and I'm actually going to put another one on my leader. Really? And the reason being, he gets a reroll. So if ah. I fail any of my tests, he can reroll them. So give him all the opportunity to absorb the fire if he wants. Yeah, to. yeah. Slightly risky sometimes, but yeah, I get yeah. Case. You see, for me, I would have put it onto the guy who had taken the big hit. Because then it nullifies one hit that you have to take, because he's pro probably going to die anyway. Well, uh, maybe. We'll you know, see. That, that'll be my thinking. Yeah, well, yeah, comments, comments below. Yeah, absolutely. So, right, we'll start with the uh, with the lead and we'll see how right I was for this one. Okay. Um, my resolution uh, is, uh, my, sorry, my resilience is 12. Okay. Um, your strike value is 3, so I'm down to a 9. Okay. So I'm looking for only 10s will fail. Okay. Uh, and I've rolled a 7 and a 3, so I'm absolutely fine. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, really. 
That's what I mean. With these guys especially, they can mm. shrug off even the medium weapons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, okay. next one. It's terror. Guy, exactly the same. Yep. Don't, don't roll a 10. Oh, so roll a nine. 9. I'm just oh, okay. No. Their armor is fantastic. Mm. Okay, now the, the plasma cannon is I assume this is six. the big one. So my 12, my resilience right. goes down to a 6. Yeah. So a 6 or less and I'm okay. Uh, and I've rolled a 10. Lovely. So there we go. So this guy has now been taken out. Mm-hmm. Bosh. That's uh, fine with me. And there we go. It's not 50% casualties, so we're just about okay there. Yeah. But you've seen that concentrated firepower. Gar are, are some of the, obviously they're only infantry, but they are monstrous size, you know, large infantry. Yeah, yeah. You've managed to pin them and take one down. Well, it's, it's the one thing I've always wondered about the Gar. Now, I, I see these big battle mechs. Is there mm. actually a little misshapen person in There is. There? Well, these guys you see behind are the Gar themselves. Uh huh. This is a battle suit that they run around in. So mm. they're, they're malevolent little. You know, horrible yeah. little creatures that, yeah. that some people don't really like the the, the look of how ugly and beady well, eyes see, they are. I, I was having a read of some of the, the background for Antares, and from what I can understand, the whenever everything shut down, mm. you know, all the gates closed, all interstellar travel was completely messed up. Yep. The Gar were left to their own devices. Yes. And they just became this very warlike, very nasty society. Yeah, they, they really are. I mean, obviously, we're, we're talking a, a completely random billions, could be billions, could be trillions of years in the future. Humanity yeah. and all of these uh, factions that we first started with are all based on humans. Yeah, yeah. So they've all, all evolved, evolved from, from humans. All evolved from humans. Mm. So, yeah, these guys have, have got their tech from, from history. They don't really know what to do with it anymore. Mm -hmm. There's lots of infighting, lots of, yeah. you know, social the status of, of their uh, mm. leaders is everything to them. And yeah, if you and fail, it's... that's it, you're out. Yeah, and the whole thing with leaders, it's be brutal to stay in power. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, right. really, really good one. Yeah. So, Speaking of which, these guys better pull their socks up or they're going to be uh, shot down as well. So uh, next slice out of the bag right, okay, is so mine. Getting to go. There we go, so my last unit. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to try... I need to take you down. So okay. what I'm going to do, go I'm going to do fire order? a fire order on these guys. Okay. Now I need to pass uh, a, a test to be okay. able to, to do it. Now I have a command rating on these guys, which will go straight to the book, which tells you very easily the stat lines. Mm -hmm. So you've got your agility, accuracy, strength, resilience, initiative and command. Uh huh. Dead simple, very, very simple one. So I have eight on these guys, so uh -huh. down to a seven, seven or less. And two, I've two. they're fine. So they will act as normal and lose their pin. Yep, absolutely. Okay. So uh, these guys have got uh, um, scarra cannons, which have a couple of different options. Oh, so lovely. The weapon sheet right at the back mm -hmm. gives you very, very quickly all the different ones of those. So the yep. scarra cannon can either do disperse, which is rapid fire three. So very, very good. The strike uh -huh. value is um, zero. So I'm going for things that are unarmored Yeah. Uh, with that one. Um, I can do a disruptor one, which mm -hmm. is uh, it does a blast, and that's great because it's uh, you don't get any cover saves or ah. things like that with that, that one. Um, or I can do a concentrated one, mm. which gives me a strike value of four, so that will reduce your armor, which oh. for your combat drone is thirteen. So yeah. Obviously, again, you can't fail you're, that on a D10. Yeah, yeah, but you're, uh, you're going to want to. I can bring it down to a nine. So I'm going to obviously going to try and do that. Okay. Okay. Now my accuracy is only five. All right. But. Because I've uh, got a fire order on them, Aye. it's a bit more accurate, so it is a six or less. All right, well, let's, let's see what you get. So let's have a look. In fact, I completely forgot. Obviously, the uh, the batter shield is still in play, uh -huh. so that brings it down from a six to a four. Aye. Like oh, a it doesn't three. really matter, because you've managed to hit with both. A two and a four. Yeah. So there we go, very cool. So they both... I didn't roll any one, so I can't destroy any of your drones. Uh -huh. So you've rolled two saves. Uh, mm. And uh, yeah, don't don't roll a ten. Basically, I haven't paid yeah. last words. Can I put a hit onto my drone? No, you can't ever allocate to your own drones. Only All I right. can with a uh, with a lucky hit. Okay, so I have to take two hits on this yep. and don't roll a ten. Correct. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Yep. Uh, eight and a nine. Yeah, absolutely. Six and a six and, and eight. Six and an eight. There I'll we do. go. You do obviously take a pin for being yep. hit. Yep, of course. Uh, and uh, away we go. So that's all the units done there. Yeah. So we go back into the bag. Yep. Oh. And there is one more dice left. Well, uh, hang far, hang far. Because I have a unit here, down the back, who have done their movement. They've advanced up to try and take position to attack your squad over here. Yep. This is activated. My drones, I assume, activate with it. I have no other units here. Yeah. So you've now uh, like come across something brand new in the game for you, which is called Mod 2. Okay. So this is multiple order dice units. Oh. So units that can do more than one thing in a turn. I mean, right. Obviously, a vehicle of this size, you'd want it to be a bit faster than the five inches normal, mm. which is why... Surprised you didn't question how fast it was, but it's because you can do something all over again. Ah, now I see. you follow the sequence of play exactly as you would normally. So okay. you take tests now that you've got a pin marker. Uh -huh. You can then choose to advance, right. or to fire, or to do anything you want. Right. And I assume if I lose that unit, I'm going to lose both dice. Uh, it, depending on uh, what damage you take, mm. uh, sometimes the damage will force you to lose one of those dice. Right. Um, so uh, there's actually stages of damage. 
The crippling damage will lose your dice straight away. Sometimes okay. you can lose a weapon. If okay. you lose the unit entirely and it explodes, yeah, yeah, both dice come out. Okay. Okay, that that's that's gonna be interesting to see. Okay, well this time I do believe I'm just gonna sit still. Yep. And I'm gonna fire, okay? Okay, so, so first thing you need to do is a command roll, because you've yep. got a pin marker on you. So what is the command of this? The command is eight. Okay. So you need a seven or less. There two. we go, if you order two. So uh, you lose your pin marker and you follow okay. through the order. Now, a fire order is really, really good. Not only yep. does it give you plus one on your accuracy for firing, so you'll mm -hmm. be on a seven or less with, with all of your dice. Mm -hmm. It now means you can split your fire. Ah. So you have a turret, which has got a 360 uh, um, yep. arc with the, the heavy plasma cannon, mm -hmm. the plasma cannon, and then the plasma light support, which is your three dice, and then right. your four dark. So in front of you, mm. you saw how ineffective yeah. plasma light support was on yeah, this. Yeah, I'm you. just putting the big blue onto them. And I'm going to put the little one onto these little guys because they, they look a bit more weedy, a little bit less armoured. A, a little, just a little, a little bit less armoured. Just a little yeah, less yeah, armoured. Yeah. Sadly, they have a resilience of four. Yeah. So, uh, so good. okay. I'll, I'll roll my three for the back unit first. Sure. And we'll see what we get. There uh, we so, go. seven, three, three. Uh, yep. So, obviously, because you stay still and fired, you've got the plus one. Mm -hmm. They've all hit. You don't even need to use the spotter. Nice. So, that's great. So, uh, you didn't roll any one, so I allocate where they go. So, I'm just going to allocate on three normal guys. Mm -hmm. Now, my resilience is four. Right. You've got a strike value of three. I'm right. down to a one. So you need a one to if save. If I roll ones, I save. <laughs> it's okay. like, you know, these are squishy, squishy yeah. guys. So there we go. Hey, there we go. I've rolled a one. So the guy in the back, you know, he dropped his gun on the floor. He ducked and the laser beam went over his head. Yeah. Sorry, boss. My shoelace is undone. Well, that's uh, two of these guys go down and they take a pin. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for the big one. So, yeah. so I'm looking for seven or less on this. Yeah? Seven or less. And okay. obviously you've got a backup of the spotter reroll. Uh, six. So that's six, that'll so be a that's hit. That's a hit. So they take their pin back again. Yep. So now you've had two chances. You've actually put two pins on that unit this turn. Mm -hmm. I've taken an order and removed one of them, but I'm yeah. still pinned at the end of the turn. Yeah. So you can see how you can really build up that as well. Yeah. And but... you have two opportunities to remove pins by mm -hmm. passing orders. Yeah. The other thing I'm noticing is with this thing, I could take my first order, come out here, shoot you, but if I got shot back and actually started taking damage, having that second order in the bag, it's leaving me that option to go, wait, nope, don't like that, retreat. Absolutely, absolutely. So, now you've hit me, you didn't roll a one, so you can't allocate where it goes. Yeah. I'm going to take it on my leader. Really? Uh, the reason being, again, he's got his reroll. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on a six or less. Now, if I lose the other guy without the reroll, I've lost half my unit and I'm having to take a test. Mm. And I might use the whole thing. So I might as yeah. well put it on my boss, give myself All right. the biggest possible chance of doing that. So six or less. And I've rolled three. a three, so I've passed. So fine. So that one, the uh, end of the turn. No mm -hmm. more dice in the bag. If you've used your uh, your mod two uh, unit, yeah, yeah. you can now see a lot of uh, possibilities for that going forward. Mm -hmm. And I really need to think about getting my assault troops into it. I'll probably just pour fire into it, try and get rid of that yeah. battle shield. Yeah. Well, uh, I tell you what. Let, let's move across the beast of war, and we'll actually have a chat on the backstage yep. about how you deal with mod two units because it seems very, very powerful. I'm guessing I have to pay my points for it, but there has to be a way to take these down. It's good and effective. All right, well, guys, drop your comments below. Are you playing Gates of Antares with mod 2 units? I would say you would be mad not to. Uh, we'll move across. We will see you there. So these guys are going to do their five inches and run uh -huh. between the... Uh... Yeah. The actual bits and pieces just like that and keep okay you're you're running it in front of me to die again okay well i know i need to take you down i need to get as close as i can mm -hmm. so i've got one dice per guy okay and i've managed now to just about get myself to within 10 inches which okay. means i'm at my most powerful oh it's the only chance i've got okay to get you down so my accuracy is five yeah uh sadly i'm shooting through Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastsofwar.com. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastsofwar.com.